of that, folks, is the Premier. Premier means good. It's a bullet Premier. It's a 23 RB. RB stands for rear bath. And I'm going to show you a few key features on the outside. Then I'm going to let you take a look at the beautiful floor plan inside. Uh, up top, there is a solar panel, 200 watt solar panel. There is a uh, wine guard Wi Fi system that has a TV reception also. This one has a solar charge controller in it. So it is uh, running right now, it's running off solar power. Here's a demonstration of that. There is no battery in this one right now. See, there is no battery. And here is the uh, see the lights are coming on here on this power tongue jack. When you get to the campground, all you have to do is push a button, raise and lower the uh, the, the uh, front of your trailer. Look at that big, huge awning, stereo speakers. This is where you'll be hanging out at the campground, right outside this door. You might have your outdoor kitchen open. Let's take a look at that. It's a beautiful outdoor kitchen. If you're gonna have an outdoor kitchen, why not have a nice one? This is a nice one, look at that. Got a fridge, got a nice cabinets, plumbed sink, that means it's not just a little tub that you dump out. Uh, it, and then you've got a uh, cooktop here. Look at that. That's where you will be cooking some delicious breakfast in the morning. Everything tastes better at the campground. You can open up a can of, of stuff that wouldn't even taste good at home that you would scoff at, frown upon, and you open it up and put it on the campfire, eat it at the campground. Sandwiches taste better when you're camping. Everything does. Just a can of corn, put it on the fire. You'd be surprised how good that tastes when you're out there. All right, so, uh, sorry, I got a little nostalgic there. We're starting here, this 23, RB, that's the rear bath. I'm going to get to the bath in a little bit. I'll, I'll say at one time, the lights are flickering. If you have any issues uh, with seizures or anything, lights are flickering. So uh, it's just because the, the sun is not out right now. We're running just purely on solar power. Uh, but this the solar will keep this fridge going. I'm sidetracking here, going out of order. Uh, it'll keep the freezer and fridge going because uh, it'll charge up the battery so it'll run there's just no battery in this one right now so there are the uh, Thomas Paine theater seats this is what they put in the top of the line Montana if it's hundred and thirty thousand uh, dollars Keystone Montana that's this is in it right here these exact seats and I, I'm just verifying it. yes they're very comfortable and at the same time, I'm multitasking. I'm testing the seat and verifying them and letting you know it's directly across from this TV. And there is the kitchen area. So this is a couple's coach. Somebody could be sitting over here, waking up, enjoying the camping experience, uh, talking about what we're going to do today. Uh, you could be over there getting coffee heating up some oatmeal in the microwave, cooking something for breakfast. This beautiful kitchen. You got plenty of pantry space, so you could put stuff up in there. You'll have all your, uh, uh, everything you need. Beautiful stainless steel sink, uh, residential fixture. Look at that, uh, subway tile motif in the kitchen. You're right up there with these uh, home redecorating shows. Uh, of course, it's got the oven, the cooktop, all the standard stuff. So that is the kitchen. Got a nice big fridge, stainless steel. So uh, just another little bit of, of view for this uh, area here. It's got a radius roof. That means it's arched. So even if you're not 6'7", it still makes it a whole lot better. Uh, it just opens it up. And... Uh, Look at it from this way. Try not to move the camera. I don't want to upset anybody. You got the radius roof. You got lots of floor space. It's very open. So what this one doesn't have, let's just go ahead and just uh, address that. It does not have a dinette. You can put a table right here, a long table. Uh, some of these will come with a table. I don't see it in this one. It could be back behind there. But you can put a table there. You can eat on TV trays. Uh, you, if you eat at home in your recliner, a lot of people do, this would be perfect for you. We're not trying to pick out a trailer for it. I'm trying to show you what's available. And if it fits what you like, then it's the right trailer. Uh, as long as it's good quality, you're getting a good deal, 
and you have a, a salesperson who's going to treat you right. This is the pantry space. It's right when you walk in the door. There's pantry space here. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up and then just show you. Uh, so I'm backing away. I'm in the bathroom now, but you can see that's the kitchen area there. But that's storage, pantry. You might put that bottom one right here by the door. You walk in. I'd probably put some flip-flops there. You come in, your shoes are dirty. You don't want a bunch of shoes sitting here when you walk in. Uh, you take your shoes off, stick them in there, and grab your flip-flops, your, your house slippers, and you'll be all set. So uh, uh, the uh, there's windows around this uh, slide out here where the theater seats are. keeps it very open feeling. So this is a rear bath. And uh, on the left, right on the other side of that wall where the toilet is, is the uh, outdoor kitchen. It's got a huge outdoor kitchen, but up above it, uh, it, it still leaves room for a huge storage area. You can't really tell in this. Uh, I'm extending my arm the whole length. I got long arms. This is a huge area. And I'm going to back away and see if you can get some depth perception in there. Uh, this will hold a lot of blankets, towels, paper towels, and look at that. You've got uh, residential hinges, hidden hinges, high quality. So on these RVs, typically the doors are a little bit harder to open. That's that's on purpose. They don't want them coming flying open when you're uh, driving down the road. So that is your uh, Dometic toilet. And uh, there's a little shelf down there you could put stuff. You can put some stuff down there maybe some windex some cleaners different things or anything you might use uh you can store it down here look at that pex plumbing that's what you use in building a house is pex plumbing it doesn't burst it's it, if you're freezing and it's down to negative 10 it's, it's supposed to be good down till negative 10 degrees uh not saying it won't freeze it won't burst and that is good to know Easy to winterize a trailer. You can just drain all the water out and blow it out. Pretty simple process. If you have any questions about stuff like that, uh, what's necessary in your area, if you need winterizing fluid, things like that, if you're up north, we'll be happy to discuss it with you. But down here where we're at, you typically don't see anybody uh, using winterizing fluid and it's normally not a problem. Uh, I've never used it. My RV never had a problem. We had some serious freeze uh, going on this uh, past February, you may have heard about it in the news. I'm not here to talk about the news. Just look at that. There's a leaf on this. Uh, uh, give you extra counter space. And there is my contact information. Some high tech graphics right here. I worked on that myself. I had to stay up late last night. You can text me. You can call me if you have a rotary phone, a dial phone. It still works on that. But you can send me a text if I can hold the camera clear. And. I will be happy to respond if you call me, leave me a message. I don't normally answer if I don't recognize the number, but I will always call you back if you leave a message. So text is the best. Say, hey, I'd like to speak to you, and uh, I'll be delighted to speak with you. Uh, housekeeping has not made this bed this morning. All right. Uh, so you've got a wardrobe on each side in the bedroom where you can keep your clothes. Storage up top. There's a... Uh, that area up there and then you have a little table there you can put a CPAP machine here or there's some space back there then on each side of the bed I'm gonna zoom here we go that is a uh, USB on the bottom and then up above there that is a 110 that is a uh, uh, inverted outlet it'll run off of solar same thing on the other side so you've got uh, connections on each side You've got a drawer right here on this side. On both sides, you have a drawer. Okay, so on the other side, it's the exact same thing. You've got a little shelf up there and a little cubby space down there. So you can keep your stuff. It's nice to have a place to put your phone, your knickknacks, and things, your handgun, whatever it is you keep by your bed. Then, only thing different on this side, there is a laundry chute. So you can put a laundry basket, right now that is the uh, power cord uh, for this one, but you can put a laundry basket down there and you've got your undies, uh, t-shirts, socks, anything, just chuck them in the laundry hamper, you have to deal with it. You can put a trash can down there too, if you want to put a trash can, it's convenient to have a trash can, you can throw stuff in, raccoons won't be able to get to it, you'll have uh, your uh, uh, pass through storage locked up, so that might be a good spot for uh, an extra trash can. Trash cans are always like an issue in an RV. Where are you going to put the trash? 
Uh, you got some storage down here. 